Let's keep on trucking. Uh, oh, she said, should I check out 506 before? Oh, fuck. Shit oh, happened. Oh, boy. Someone's been living it up. Oh. Wow, can you do that? Can you put a do not disturb on just the bathroom door? Huh. I didn't even think about that. Like, yeah, you can clean the room, just not the bathroom. Huh. Uh, private or business email if I want to send you hairy butt pics. Oh, that's de definitely private. That, that is not business. It's hard because uh, sometimes my business is my pleasure. Well, I wonder, like, if you can put it on the bathroom door, can you put it on, like, one drawer? I put the do not disturb sock on my office door when I turn your stream on. Bathroom seems fine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lig Nova was 61. Another fan of the gossiper. The I untold finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago now. Dean knew he had a date with death. Uh, see also the untold story behind Frankie and Ava's divorce. All you need to know about the Presley scandal is Liz bankrupting Mike. Gracie Jones, dirty little secrets exposed. Did he really just scold us for talking? These Montreal cab drivers, I swear. I know I thought he would, uh, I thought he'd appreciate uh, us trying to make a uh, conversation. Thank God for good old fashioned pen and paper at least. Yeah, it takes me back. Oh, they're writing back and forth because fucking cabbie scolded them for driving or for talking. Yeah, it takes me back. At least sister uh, Gabrielle isn't here to confiscate them anymore. So like I was saying, are you ready for your week-long bridal shower, Mrs. Hubert? Stop saying or stop it. Simone, I'm not Mrs. Until we walk down the aisle and this uh, week is for th thinking about anything but that. That's right. We're making the most of this week before I lose you to the uh, jaws of married life. Blah, 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 my husband. I would never. I won't be another Andrea. I promise. Leanne, he's going to kick us out if you keep making me laugh. Oh. Oh, this is the forbidden love. Oh, shit. Discover historic and gay Montreal. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, shut up. You'll have a gay old time. Wow, they didn't even use the beds, huh? Where am I putting all this stuff? Not exactly a cherished gift. If you just left it behind like this. And I'm not going home without a prize. Oh. Oh, what does it say? This Valentine's Day, I'm on the hunt, and I'm not going home without a prize. Dear my beloved Leanne, much as I would have loved to spend this Valentine's Day with the, uh, the woman who's about to become my Mrs. Hubert, I'll happily make do with the lifetime of Valentine's Days awaiting us. Enjoy your, we your week in Montreal. I'll... I'll be eagerly awaiting your return and the start of our new life together. Love, Gregory. P.S. Don't let Simone rope you into anything crazy. Tell her I need my bride back in one piece. So he knows they're going away. Like, they have little vacations together. But he doesn't know what's going on in their forbidden love den. <laughs> P.S. Your vagina's in the sink. Oh my god, that joke. Gamers never look up. Okay. 
I guess, I mean, we should probably go in there. Oh, she knew. She knew. Sorry for the mess. See, she knew. No, no, no. Turn it back on. I don't need that. I don't buy this. There's no fuck. There's no hair. This should be like covered with hair. What's the story behind this? Oh, it's got paint all over it. What do you think? Do I throw away the shoe, guys? Do I leave it? That's po oh, that's poop. Someone actually stomped a mud hole in someone else's ass. <laughs> Okay. Did I miss anything that I should be cleaning? Oh, garbage. There's a garbage. There we go. Think you did pretty good? Clean your mouth? I would have said keep it, but she made a big mess. Screw her and throw it away. I think so. I think that's trash. It's only one shoe. Oh, is the picture crooked? Or is that just the, oh, there is a, oh my God. Nice eye. Wow, good job. You can't leave a shoe for the next client? No, this isn't like, they're not gone. They're still staying here. Yeah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Oh, they, I'm pretty sure they checked out, doesn't the sheet say? Good question. Uh, 506. Oh, complete. Expect a big mess. Okay. So a complete clean means... Partial clean. Okay, mirror... To use towels, clean towels, toilet paper roll, empty garbage can, throw away trash, ashtray, scrub stains, bed, garbage can, trash. Oh, change bed sheets? Okay, hold on. It, it did need a complete clean, so. Oh. I'm just going to leave them uh, because it, it didn't seem they, seem like they... Stayed in the beds, apparently. Okay, toilet paper is good. Well, I think that's everything. Mm. No? Okay. I should wait till I have more to report before calling Andrew. Yep, I think we're good. Nothing in there, nothing there. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Probably leave. I don't know. In, in a hotel, do they leave the doors open? Probably. 
Let you know where everything's at. Can you search drawers? I did. I searched all the drawers. Oh. And 509 wants... What do they get? Uh, partial. Okay. More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. Oh, to pick up the laundry service? Okay. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. Yeah. No combination, no entry. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. So many games coming out making Monday tasks, daily tasks, and addictive games. Well, I don't particularly care for the, the cleaning aspect of it. That doesn't give me much satisfaction. But I the mystery aspect of it, I'm just hoping, like, I like the story. Like, you, you, clean, you clean up the room, but as you're doing it, you get, like, little tidbits of story. Like, Power Wash Simulator just came out with a Back to the Future edition where you clean up Back to the Future, and it just, I'm like, I do not understand that game. And people who like it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, like, I don't personally get that at all. Um, am I not going to clean the obvious schmutz behind the fucking garbage can? What is this? I guess we'll leave that. These are lovely. I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. I still love you as much as I did on the day I met you. Oh, this is rehearsal. Uh, I will always remember the first time I saw you in that beautiful blue red dress. It seemed like only yesterday when I first... Ten years ago, I promised I would always love you and... Today, I pledge, again, what I pledged 10 years ago. Everything changed the day you came into my life. I hope it will uh, change again when a new member enters uh, our fam. I hope... Oh, I hope we can soon um, expand our family with a... You know how important family is to me. <laughs> oh. Well, don't throw that away. No. Oh, wait, what? Felix's toothpaste. Wider smile at a sensible price. Oh, Moodil tablet contains four active ingredients. Uh, acetophenitin... Fenit... Fen wow. Acene... Aceto... Phenitidin. Acenophenitidin. Wow. Aspirin... Uh, cinnamidrin and caffeine. Ah, nice. I kept I kept wanting to say uh, kept wanting to say acetaminophen, but that's not what it was. Hmm. What were you apologizing for? I'm sorry. Please and forgive were you me. Forgiven. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. You left your Benedict, it's man. Practically untouched. You left your moons over my hammy! One of our more expensive bottles. Was there a special occasion? Mr. Hector Cruz. Miss Hester Moffat? The rest of me? Miss the rest of me? Uh, Marcelo and uh, made it feel quite lived in. Okay. Somebody left a note at the table apologizing. 
Only oh, one half of the crew seem to have made their own sleeping arrangements in on the room's couch. Oh, okay. Oh, over-the-counter drug to relieve menstrual cramps. Oh, that's what mood ill is. Okay. Hector's an insurance agent. I'm not going to clean up the rose petals? Okay. Guess we'll leave those. I guess we'll leave the that too. All right. It's weird what they decide is what is trash and what is not. Moodil might all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My first step should be to tidy up a bit. Searching a clean room is easier than searching a messy one. Oh my god, yes. Oh, fuck my butt. Fuck it. Fuck it hard. Fuck this butt. His butt is ready to be fucked. Browning the pants means you had too much fudge, tee hee. <laughs> tee hee. Too much fudge. Tee hee. Express Montreal vacation. Hotel, restaurant, taxi, flowers, blah, 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 blah. Oh, why would I open this? Why would I keep going and inspecting this? S.W. In the coffee. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Oh, shit, they do get anchored. What the fuck? Oh, you clicked a button that made it so okay. Oh, interesting. I wonder how long does that last? I, that's the first time I saw I've seen I'm seeing this too. Does it cost more or is it just an option they give you? It says the last two minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, there's the progress bar going. It's just it's just really slow. Okay. SW Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Oh, this person shit. looking for you back in Texas. Was dear, he really just a co-worker? Dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed, and so are your your sisters. <laughs> Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was uh, another one of your l wife's ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She had f uh, five children, three boys, two girls, and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan had... Uh, just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Uh, imagine if you had married her or married her like you were supposed to. You would have your own family by now. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get to, uh, to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he is one of your colleagues from work, but I am not quite sure. I'm not sure. I told him you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I will make your favorite cake. Your mother. Well, don't I... Why wouldn't I pick that up and put it back in the drawer where it belongs? Wow. 
You look like a couple out of a magazine. February 14th. Oh, Valentine's Day, 1948. <coughs> Your disappointment. Come home. I make cake. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Oh, don't fold the blanket like and put it at the, the other end of the couch or nothing. Looks like someone tore that note apart, but I'm missing some pieces. Wait a goddamn go minute! Through. I threw this- I, if I hadn't looked in there, I wouldn't have known it was down there. What the fuck? That's devious game. Oh my god, yes! Oh, See? Oh, fuck yeah. my oh, butt. Fuck my butt. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it hard. Fuck this butt. Maybe I'll find more of those ready to be paper fucked. pieces if Beauty I keep cleaning goodies. the room. Um. Oh, there we go. Nope. That's just a shadow. That's not dirt. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. Aha! Nope, nope, oh. I'll answer it. Hello? Hello? Hello, Sophie. Andrew? I want to play a game. Is, is, is that you? Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> In these nuts. Star 69 him. Oh, not a thing. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew? Hey. Sophie. Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who <gasps> called? Um, I'm not sure I understand. So Why would they be calling call you? It's not your room, dude! Anything. All I could hear was static and breathing. That's pretty unsettling. Uh, hang on. Hey, Beth? You got a minute? No. Give me a second, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> that Beth. She is a firecracker. Okay. So Beth, Beth you got a second? She just no. Just call through to 509. Did she recognize the caller's voice? Oh, do you think maybe it was Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Hmm. Let me check. Dexter Morgan? Okay. It was a male voice, but she's not sure whether it was Mr. Morgan's or not. Hmm. Did she notice anything else? She says, it sounded like a bell rang in the background, like an elevator bell. So she assumed whoever was calling was one of our guests. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I get why you're on edge, but I don't see any way he could know you're in 509. I haven't spoken to anyone about this. I know. I know you did it. The window's open! Wait, what? Can you ask Beth not to patch any calls here for a while? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, Why so I better get back to it. Wait a second. I just remembered something about this morning. I can't believe I didn't think about it before. What is it? A few minutes after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby, I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel all alone. Really? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think it was a minute or two after 10. Hmm. What? I just, I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like a, a door slamming really hard. You think it was her? Maybe. 
Did you notice anything weird about her? I don't know. She passed by the front desk so fast I barely had time to see her. Although... Yeah? I've always seen the cruises as a pair. I suppose it is a bit odd that she left without her husband. Maybe she was sneaking out. Yeah, a woman maybe alone? She was Mr. Morgan. Yeah. That shouldn't happen. Hopefully I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you can. Give me a call as soon as you found something, okay? Okay. Thanks for the info. Yeah, we don't know why why that dude had pictures of her yet at all. We like we saw that and that's it so far. Of of our like being the protagonist's like involvement. Uh, yep. Okay. Now, how do I... I don't know how to, like, reassemble the picture in my inventory. on the bathroom shelf. Oh, I left the clean towels on my cart. Oh. Oh, should there be two? Probably two, right? I, I just gotta go to my mind palace. Maybe I'll get some coffee. Also, where's the other towel? Did they steal one of our towels? Rotten bastards. Conveniently sticking out. Mrs. Cruz got her personal information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Oh. Oh shit. Oh, more more letter code stuff. Okay, so we have S <laughs> S equals equals O equals five and W equals Eight. Weird. All right. Who could blame you for seeking help? I'd do the same in your shoes. These scribbles don't look random, but I can't figure out what they mean. So it's weird because some of the things, some of the letters equal symbols and some of the symbols equal numbers. It's very weird. Uh, I'm sure it'll make sense, but so far we've got A equals two. L equals eighth note. <laughs> v V equals G, maybe? Heart equals seven. I equals four. T might equal 30. Uh, S equals equals. O equals five. And W equals eight. Um, breach. Uh, privacy breach that occurred on 20th of September. Okay. Rest assured that we will put measures in place so the situation doesn't happen again. Okay. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Um, why can't I go into my inventory? That's weird. I can't press up anymore. Huh. The controller just wasn't re responding. Okay. I guess we'll use keyboard mouse. 
Code is made up of four letters. <laughs> Marcella Cruz, yep, okay. Cruz? No, it's too simple. Not gonna inspect that. There's probably nothing there. This is new. It is Mr. Peril. Yeah, yeah. The the bit pinning is new. To read. Oh shit! More letters. Murder. U is six. R is P. E is zero, I think. E is three. Wow. It's a weird code. Um... Whoever wrote this is as much a reader as they are a doodler. Okay. Oh, yeah, the P might be another musical note. Yeah, it could be. Stranger than I, beast of you, horse. The horizontal man. It had to be. It had to be murder. It had to be murder. Am I reading this right? The account's been emptied. X is W. T is like a tilde. U is six. N is like a one or an I. So weird, okay. I don't know what this code is, I have no idea. You don't see someone withdraw $5,000 every day. Just what could have made you empty out your entire bank account? So the accounts in your name and the statements tucked away in your jewelry box. That's awfully secretive, Mrs. Cruz. It could be, yeah, it could be slash, could be one. These symbols. Could be I. They look oddly familiar. <laughs> They're letters. These symbols. They look oddly Oddly familiar. <laughs> they look familiar. Like those squiggles in those in those wood sandwiches that my husband has. You don't see someone withdraw five thousand dollars every day. Just what could have made you empty out your entire bank account? Aha! Jacques! Oh no. Wait, the code for the, the suitcase is be sure to drink your Ovaltine? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All the symbols. I didn't leave enough space. Nope, not you.
It's some kind of code. Could I break it? You bet I could. Hmm. This piece is shaped like Iowa. This one's like Illinois. It must be a clue. All right. I. Uh. Oops. No, no. No, no, no. W. There we go. Uh, musical notes are L's. Uh, three is. E. Two is A. That G symbol is a V. That slash is the N. Five is an O. The tilde is the... Uh, where did I put the tilde? T. Wait. Oh, the S is the equals. Oh, I didn't find the curly Q. I found the W. W is... Wait. No, X, 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 right? Seven. Did I find a seven? I haven't found a seven yet. Six is U. P is R. And the dash is an M. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. Bam. I did watch the killer. Katie and I both watched it. It was good. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. It's me. Sophie. Did you uncover anything in 509? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. What? Awesome. Uh, did you crack it? It says, I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? What an odd thing to do. Yeah. And whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. Hmm. So the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think maybe one of them's having an affair? I don't know. It really looks like blackmail. Blackmail? What makes you say that? I found a bank statement belonging to Mrs. Cruz. Her account was emptied very recently. Emptied? No one does that unless they're in trouble. Or, or switching traveling. banks! What do you mean? Well, they're not home, so they do need their money handy. Plus, a trip can be pretty costly. It's weird, but it could be anything. Did you find something else to back your theory? I also found a letter from some sort of company, Fernie and Weissman. It mentions a security breach. Targeting the cruise? Identity theft. Just the wife. It seems some of her private information was stolen by someone. Okay, it can't be a coincidence that she would withdraw all of her money right after a security breach. Whatever it is they found out, she was willing to pay them to keep quiet about it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It could be blackmail for sure. Do you think Mr. Morgan's the blackmailer? Uh... Wait, he hired to find the blackmailer? He wouldn't... No. Would he be following them around if he was trying to find the blackmailer? Hmm. What if the Cruises hired him to find the blackmailer's identity? And follow them following around? them around and yeah. taking pictures of them? See? Yeah. That's a weird strategy. Maybe he hopes to catch the blackmailer the next time he gets in touch with them. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. I guess. I'll go have a look at the vent that's mentioned in the message. Just to be sure we're on the right track. Good idea. It's almost break time for me. 
If you need my help again, you can ask Beth to patch you through to the break room. All right. Enjoy your break. Thanks, Sophie. Okay. Why did I leave the door open? I should go close the door. There we go. Now we have some privacy room. Now to take a dump in the pillow. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. But which vent? Theories, theories, okay. Yep. This is a clue then. The reading list. Hmm. Maybe it's a cipher? The message said next to your room. So it has to be a vent in the corridor. Okay, sure. No, what is that? No, inspect that. Can I not inspect that? What is it? Thank you. Oh, lice oil. Oh, shit. Cleans, deodorizes, disinfects. F for feminine hygiene, warning, keep out of reach of children. This is regular. So that suggests that there's like an extra strength or something. <laughs> yeah, just put that on your cooch. Pills provide birth control. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, B and C. We don't have those ones yet. E is a parenthesis and C is an end parenthesis or end parenthesis. G is a H. And P is a plus sign, it looks like, or a T. Development of a contraceptive pill believed to be the ultimate form of birth control was reported yesterday to a group of journalists. The pill was tested among 218 women despite reports of some undesirable effects. Dr. Tenenbaum said the pill shows greater promise for the future. This looks right up Andrew's alley. Margo, he's read this one. Margo B. Thompson's Stranger in the Night. She thought she was tracking a killer, but the killer was tracking her instead. A novel by Margaret B. Thompson, San Francisco, 1953. Gloria Gray is an inspiring writer who works in a diner by day and writes crime fiction by night. When a series of murders occurs across the city, she decides to pursue the killer in the hope of turning her story into a best-selling novel. She meets Hugh, a mysterious young man who offers his help, offers his help in finding the murderer. But soon Gloria starts to wonder if he is the killer. Read the story that's on everyone's lips before seeing the major motion picture. Is that Hunter S's sister? Oh, so I cleaned those rose petals, but not the other ones. Okay, sure. Oh, do I not? I don't have the other pillow. Oh, the other pillow's on them. Right. On the golf one. Not really. So I'm not going to clean up their laundry. I don't do that, I guess. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. So four letters that I have not found yet? I'm guessing it's like something I have to inspect, perhaps? Oh. Fernie and Wiseman. Have I seen this logo somewhere? Have I? Fernie and Wiseman. Have I seen this logo somewhere? Hmm. 
Is she a maid or a detective? She's a maid, but like weird shit has been happening. She's she's trying to uh, suss out what's what's going on with these weird guests, and it all started with a uh, a room where there was a there's a photographer set up a dark room in the bathroom and took pictures of me for whatever reason we do not know why yet. Okay. Hmm. No. Nope. Oh, let's go. Let's go to the vent in the next room then. Okay. It's me, detective. It's <laughs> me, Dick. She's a me, Dick. How did they even get that letter? Wendy must have done too much work. Wendy? What's this obsession of yours with her? Oh, it's Bernard! And Linda! Uh-oh! Linda, she did that with me. She thinks it's my fault Jack broke up their engagement. Do you have any proof? I do. I found this lipstick in Wendy's locker. Oh, this, shit! That's the rag I used to erase the message. It's the exact same color. Hmm. Someone else could have used her lipstick. Oh, oh it, I didn't even add the note yet. It's not. There's also this. I sent it to her a few days ago. I was kindly warning her that her behavior compromised her engagement, and I was quite right. But look at what's scribbled down here. Not only does it prove she hates me, the writing's the same as the message on the door. Ah. Uh. Very well. I'll call Wendy to my office later and fire her. Oh, shit. Good. It's time you see her for who she really is. The nurse she has calling me a bitch. Oh. And to expose our intimacy like that. Intimacy? Of which? I thought we might, uh... Hmm, yes. Oh, shit! They're gonna get busy! Hmm. Wow. I thought they were just gonna cut off the audio. If I could keep going, dude. Housekeeping. Probably not oh my god, yes. Oh, fuck my butt. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it hard. Fuck this butt. This butt is ready to be fucked. Okay, I'll leave you I'll leave you two alone now. <laughs> I can't see anything in there. Good timing though, Nick. <laughs> this butt is made for fucking. Fuck this butt. Shit. Oh, do I have a... Can't open these without a screwdriver. Oh, no. Okay. I've never seen two people more suited for each other. I hope they work things out. They oh. need to. Do oh, Eugene. Eugene. I had no idea. Come, 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 Fucking come, hell, come, dude. Come, 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 fart God damn you. The sounds of nature, sounds of pleasure, followed by flatulence and queefs, only to exclaim was that a bubble? With some nervous laughter. These are the sounds of people who were into some weird shit in the 1950s. <laughs> Thank you, sex sounds Jaldi. <laughs> Appreciate that, $6.90. <laughs> Dear Eugene, a friend of mine has heard from her hairdresser who's heard from her sister-in-law who works as a secretary to the mayor that the city plans on building a new mental hospital right next to the Clarington. Imagine Denise could go, uh, could get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still I'll keep my ear to the ground and keep you posted as soon as I have more news. 
Warm wishes, Joyce. Shop owners against new mental hospital. Right. William Weston. We're going to kill Sounds him. Sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. Don't know why your daughter's condition. I only imagine how difficult. Uh, you only have to look at my brother's tale. Rotten apples grow even in the best families. As for your quest, I'm afraid I'm unable to grant it. Mr. Weston is both a good friend of mine and a benefactor of the Clarington. Ah, uh, okay. Priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Eugene, Bernard tells me there is a cold draft coming from his window uh, and it's turning his office into a freezer. Fixing this should be your highest priority today, Linda. Wait, Sophie, you don't need these. Oh, <laughs> be careful. It's a slippery slope towards becoming a hoarder. Okay. I thought this was a video game. You pick up everything. Huh, oh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Shoot, no screwdriver. Fuck me. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? Eugene's a pro oh. at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Probably wouldn't be a screwdriver in there. Just use a fucking dime or, or a penny or something, dude. So he's probably fixing the something or other. What is it? Bernard's office. And we know Bernard's not going to be there. <laughs> or maybe he will, depending. How long have we been gone? A couple minutes? Nah, he's probably... Probably done. They're still going, dude. Like, not not that they're having sex, but like the voice actors had to do that for a long time, apparently. Hi. Who are you? <clears throat> oh, it's Bernard. It's, uh, ah. Miss Bellivet, isn't it? What? Oh, um, um mm. Roy. Mm. Oh, right. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, Take care of your sister, I think. I had to take mother. care of her, you know. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you I need break? to know I can lay on you. Lean on you. Uh, oh, indicates a lie. Lies may get you out of a tough spot, but be careful not to get caught in a lie. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Uh, no, I need a screwdriver. Why would I lie? No, I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? What for? Um, because I'm thirsty. Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> you can't, you're a woman, you can't tighten a screw, you don't even know which way to turn it. <laughs> That's silly. What's going on? Oh, Andrew. Oh, sorry. 
Seems I have made a habit of sneaking up on you today. Spying on Bernard again? No, I'm looking for a screwdriver. For the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Ah, gotcha. Eugene? What the... Uh, maybe you should go have a look. You know um... what? I'll... I'll stand guard by the elevator. And, um, holler if Bernard approaches. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. Maybe... I think Andrew's the ghost. He's the ghost that's haunting this hotel. Uh, I have to keep a look at my poke around in Bernard's office. Okay. Oops. Yep. Okay. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to avoid that. You get it? Okay. Opposing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. Enjoy the cold, you cold hearted. Our sack? Our. Our. Prick! Ah, oh, prick. Oh, he used two cap cap e capital R, which is weird. So, I take it the open window was not <laughs> BB <asset>. suck! <laughs> it looks like BB suck! It you. does! So, I take it the open window was not an accident. Can't say I blame you, Eugene. All right. Dear Miss West, I would like to thank you again for agreeing to this partnership between the Clarion Hotel and Weston Department Store. Thanks to your generous help, uh, renovations are well underway and the hotel has never looked better. Uh, on another note, it's come to my attention that you have formed a group of local businessmen, businessmen to oppose the construction of a new mental hospital after working so hard to elevate the Clar uh, the Clarington's the Claridge's standards, whatever. I cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move in next uh, in my backyard should you accept it would be an honor and a privilege to join your fight aha let's get you to that vent um oh right got what I came for ah enjoy the cold you cold hearted prick yeah Time to see what secrets that vent is holding. Okay. I'm a, yeah, totally snooping in my boss's office. Check out room 602, ask Eugene, fix your radiator. Call Weston's office again, decide winner for employee of the month reward. Oh shit. Ew. Is this Linda's? Wow, she has no titties. That's like a A cup. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Small boobies. It's for her balls. <laughs> Does she not look like a nice brotherly check-in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. Dear brother, I thank you for your invaluable input, but I need to remind you in terms of our agreement. I did my part, I got you out of jail, and have ensured the news of your deviant ways uh, would would not leak. Uh, now I expect you to keep your side of the bargain and stay out of my way. You are not in charge of the hotel anymore. I have worked relentlessly these past few years to return the Clarington to its former glory. A great challenge considering the poor state you left it in. I'm glad Father never got uh, to see how you so shamelessly destroyed his great legacy. As far... As for me, I will be dead too before I listen to a single word of advice from you. You ask I lower our prices, but I can tell you plain, or excuse, I can tell you, I plan on doing just the opposite. My guests will only 
be la creme de la creme, your deviant friends can find themselves another place for their sinful debaucheries. Enjoy your retirement, brother! Oh, Bernard. So close to doing something altruistic, but here you are holding it over your brother. Well, he's got the he's got a gay brother. And this is where they do their debauch. They have their debauch parties. What Bernard considers sinful debaucheries could fill an encyclopedia. Could be anything from wild parties to guests walking around with their ankles exposed. Well, that's just terrible. You don't want that. February 7, 1958. Mr. LeDuc, my employer has made the following request. To avoid a want of attention, it should remain secret to both guests and staff. The temperature in room 602 should be kept at 22C. His dog should be fed a very, the very best roast beef. His room should be cleaned every day at 1130 on the dot. Eggs should be banned from his room uh, service from his room service orders. No one should disturb him between 4 and 5 p.m. Make re more requests uh, shall follow once my employer takes possession of his room. Thank you. So, this is the celebrity or maybe a dignitary or something. Well, just look at these distinguished gentlemen and a young Bernard. Oh, slam! Kind of wish I worked here when Raymond was in charge. Sounds like the hotel was very different back then. The Clarington Hotel changed hands. Uh, Raymond LeDuc re retired yesterday after more than 20 years at the helm of the Clarington Hotel located in downtown Montreal. Founded by LeDuc's father, Ferdinand, or Fernand, in 1921, the hotel was one of Montreal's most re uh, respected establishments until the Great Depression and Fernand Le uh, LeDuc's death in 1929. Ever since, guests have noticed a drop in hotel standards. My wife and I used to stay at the Clarington every year for our anniversary, said Mr. Grayson, who first visited the hotel in 1925. We stopped coming two or three years ago because of all the unsavory characters hanging around. My wife was quite afraid. Despite Raymond uh, LeDuc's retirement, the establishment will remain in the LeDuc family, as his brother Bernard is now taking over the reins. After many years as the hotel's concierge and view in the lobby, Mr. LeDuc promised great changes would come for the Clarington. Nothing to inspect there, I guess. Nothing there. Nope, nope. I mean, why wouldn't we pick this up? Oh, yeah, clean it. Oh, I already did. So I'm not gonna pick that up. Fuck you. I cleaned up the fucking water, but I, I will not pick up your note. Do you remember that loose tile from last week? Yes. Oh shit. Well, uh, I'm afraid it hasn't been Andrew. properly repaired. Thank you. What do you mean? Andrew MVP. I mean that um it's still broken, sir. Someone put a rug on top of it, but you can still hear it crack. I'm just checking to make sure That is a thick fucking door. Uh, is, is that part of your job description? Um no. No, it isn't, sir. Huh. Move! I Move! What are you doing? Move! Miss Bellavit. What were you doing in my office? Um. Well, I haven't lied yet. Maybe we just never lie. I was looking for a screwdriver to fix the loose vent I told you about. Didn't I tell you to leave it to Eugene? Um, yes, you did. Where is he? What, what are you doing here? Are you suffering from short-term memory loss or... Or are you just so dense that you didn't understand me the first time? No, I'm on my period it's, and I need some lice oil. It, it's my fault. You wouldn't so understand. I it's gross woman get a hold stuff. Of Eugene, so I thought that Sophie, being handy and all, could fix the vent herself. Well, that wasn't your decision to make, was it? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. <sighs> Come with me. Sorry. <laughs> that's a that's a paddling. That's a paddling. Now there was a problem with the window, but it seems Eugene's fixed it. Now wait a minute. Since when is it okay for a man to take the fucking credit that a woman's of a woman's work? Oh. What's that? Never mind. Nothing. It's nothing. 
So, you wanted to talk to me? Right. Yes. Y yes, I did. <sighs> to be honest, I'm a little worried about Raymond LaDuke. Oh man, he looks like a like a brunette um um oh, what's the guy from Archer? You're so um the southern gay dude um cigarette? I know. Thank you. Fuck, I can't remember his name. Don't smoke. Ray. Yeah, he looks like he looks like a brunette Ray. Your perfect choir boy routine works well with guests, but what about outside? I said brunette, Guomi. Did you not hear me fucking say that? Open your goddamn ears. Of course I do, sir. I like to read and go to the movie theater. And no, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> Do you have any lady friends? Oh, fuck, here You're we go. A, a homosexual, are you? What? Um, no, sir. Actually, there's a girl here that I quite like. Really? Well, I wouldn't usually condone relationships between staff and guests. Oh, but, uh, okay. No, no, she's not a guest. She works here. Oh, oh shit! Well, some of the women here may be good looking, but trust me, a working woman's nothing but trouble. <laughs> they get their first job, they start having all these funny ideas about women's liberation. Just look at Elizabeth. Well, she's very easy on the eyes, isn't she? But marry her. And she'll push you around for the rest of your life. Well, you don't want a pushy woman. What you need is a nice girl to wait for you at home with a good meal cooking on the stove. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, yeah, I guess. You know what? I get all these resumes from young women looking for their first job. Some of them even leave a picture. Why don't you take a minute to look at them? I'm sure if you find one you like, you could convince her oh she doesn't need God. to work after all. <laughs> well, she would kind of have to. I don't mean to complain, sir, but I couldn't possibly support two people with my current wages. Oh, well, if you find yourself a girl you like, I'll give you a raise. How does that sound? If you keep uh, a woman out of the workforce, I'll, I'll pay you more. Yes, I'll have a look. Then go ahead. What, right now? Yes, right now. There's no time like the present, is there? Hands over file. Opens file. Aren't they nice? Aren't uh, they nice? Yeah, yeah very oh, nice. Oh, they're nice, aren't yeah. they? Oh, yes. The pretty little pigeons all for the taking. Oh? Oh. oh no, you're right. Uh, that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I'll have someone... <laughs> Worst thing is, 70 years later, there's still people, still people like this. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And the funny thing is, you can always find the people that are being oppressed. You can, like, you can always find the oppressed people, like, so, like, select few, like, supporting this. Which is always so funky to me. Like, Black Republicans. <laughs> That's so weird to me. Uh, people, uh, oh well, God, what is that? Like, oh, like the, the trad wife, the traditional wife movement that's like, you know, it's, I, do what you want to do. I don't care. If you like being that, do it. Be it. But like, to foist it on other people is, is silly. And, to support it being the one being oppressed seems just so strange to me. It's like women, like women saying women belong in the kitchen. Oh, I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. Um. I think uh, being part of the oppress oppressing group makes them better or more powerful, I guess. If you can't beat them, join them, maybe. <laughs> I saw an article about furry Christian conservatives being worried about their place. That is not a, not a, that's not a string of words that I thought would ever go together. Furry Christian conservative. 
like two of those together, either one, like two of those together, totally fine. Like pick your two, put them together, fine. But all three of them together, just strange. Oh, it's yeah, it's my Thursday. By the way, y'all. Speaking, <laughs> speaking, speaking of strange things, uh, I will be calling my mom today. So if you have anything you want me to ask her or whatever questions for a mother or specific questions for my mother, uh, go to the head over to the Discord. There is a tab called Zeke Mom Questions. Uh, it should be under Channel Suggestions. Yes, yeah, you got to scroll down a little bit, but yeah, if you want me to ask my mom anything, that's where the questions go. Well, don't put them in chat right now. That's why we have a fucking Discord tab for it. God damn it. I don't know if you already have furry conservatives. Well, conserv being a conservative isn't, isn't necessarily bad. Like, you don't have to be a part of the Republican Party to be a conservative person. Like, conservative is a broad, you know, umbrella that a lot of things fit under. Some of them are like, you know, hardline conservative. That's the ones we hear about. But I have friends that are conservative. They're very reasonable people, you know? I think it's reasonable to think that, uh, that, you know, government should be small or government spending should be curtailed or whatever, like, the core beliefs of conservatives are, that's, it's, you know, totally understandable. Just like the core beliefs of liberals. It's just, like, you hear about liberals and conservatives in the most extreme terms, and that's what you associate with it. And I, I that's not, uh, not fundamentally true. Oh shit, maybe, I don't know if I made the beds perfectly before because I, I thought it was only one pull each. Uh, Cal, cancel Z, he's an all right ally. No, I, I honestly believe that the core, the core uh, of uh, beliefs of liberals and, and uh, conservatives are fine. They're totally fine beliefs. But all you hear about is the fringe. Oh my god, yes. Oh, fuck my butt. Fuck it. Fuck it hard. Fuck this butt. This butt is ready to be fucked. No questions for Zeke Mom about incest. Zeke, Zeke, Red. I'm K. QAnon backwards spells Ezekiel the third. Oh my god. You found my secret. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vincent, for the 300 bits. I appreciate that. I think the funny thing about American politics is the schism, and most of us just live in the gray area. Yeah, absolutely. I totally, I totally agree. I have mostly liberal leanings, but I have some conservative thoughts as well. Oh my God, don't pick those up. Oh, I just noticed what that was. It was just a bunch of crumpled up fucking uh, Kleenex face tissues. Ugh. Ugh. Why did I touch those? I don't even, I'm not even wearing gloves. Wendy, do you think I don't see the way you talk to guests, the way you smile at them and call them sweetie while you fill their coffee cups, the way you laugh at their jokes and let your eyes like a, or, and bat your eyes like a stupid teenage girl? I'm not sure if you're doing it for the tip or to uh, get the employee of the month reward, but either way, this is unacceptable, and I won't even mention the way you were 
uh, wear your uniform. This is a respected hotel, not a pleasure house. Although I've always had a problem with your behavior, I tolerated it as long as the guests were happy. But now that you're getting engaged, I can no longer remain silent about it. What would you? What would Jacques say if he saw you? I'm sure he would be as ashamed as I am. Maybe you uh, got Bernard fooled like every other man, but if you don't change your behavior, I'll find a way to convince him to, f to fire you. This is your only warning. Linda, bitch! <laughs> oh, shit. Open it up. Put it on. You wear your makeup like this, you whore. You dirty whore. Uh, will there be a Zeke special for Gobble Gobble Day? Oh, for Thanksgiving? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I, I usually talk about or think about that like the week of. So Tuesday before Thanksgiving, I'll probably start thinking like maybe I should do something. Linda, my wife will be at her parents tonight, so come by my house at 8 p.m. and make sure you bring the new lingerie I bought you. Oh, this is the note she found. Yeah. Yeah. Should I? I should probably throw this away, right? There. There. All clean. No evidence of debauchery here. I opened all those drawers, right? Oh, fuck. I don't remember. I should dress up like a turkey. Yeah. American politics is kind of cringe, if you ask me. Name, name, name a, a country with politics that aren't that way. Like, Canada is close to being, like, the least cringe. But even that, even that, they, they have their own, they have their own brand of cringe. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm saying they're less offensive, uh, offensively cringy than most other countries. Overtly cringe. That's what I meant to say. Okay, I think we're done here. See anything that needs doing? Have I cleaned this room sufficiently, you think? Feel like I have. Cleaned up down for my boss's affair. Maybe I'll get her maybe I will get that employee of the month. Okay. write down all the ones oh because i didn't inspect them all okay i guess i'll just do this my uh, my own self um oh can i do it from here
I was hoping I could I could do the the clue deciphering, but I have to have the I have to have the actual thing in front of me. It seems the one like with weird symbols on it. I know for sure oh this one this one had some like st stuff I could use like but I can't yeah okay fuck it whatever maybe deciphering that note would be easier if I had more symbols to go off of oh if maybe if I decipher it it will It will put the things in the right place then, I hope. M. E. Meet me. Oh, it will. It Or does it? I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. Um, o. Slash is. N. I. G. H. Y, R, uh, parentheses is C, the two symbol is an A, the note is L, it is W, that's a B, will be, Oh, sleeping. We need. It's not filling in the other ones. Okay. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Okay. Your fingers hurt from crafting. Hotel reception. Well, now your and back's gonna hurt technically, Kate, because you just pulled landscaping duty. Anyone else fingers hurt? Sorry. Yeah, but I also wanted to thank you for saving my skin earlier. Oh, no problem. I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble. I wasn't in trouble per se, but I did have a pretty awkward conversation with Bernard. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. It was just weird. He asked all kinds of personal questions. That's just so unlike him, you know, but it's all right. I'd rather have that than his usual sermons. Anyway, did you manage to open the vent? What was in it? Actually, that's why I'm calling. Would you mind looking up another guest for me? Oh, so there's one more character to the cast. Michael! Yeah, someone named Michael? Hmm, <laughs> I'll just check the logbook. By the way, how'd you get that name? I found another message written in secret code. It says, meet me tonight in my room. Tell me Michael it's Michael Williams Jackson. Michael Bolton? No, none of them around. Plan. Uh, Michael, Michael Crichton. Husband. No. Maybe. Who would it be? Well, Who's a famous Michael from 1950s? Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with, oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. That's really nice of you. So, Mrs. Beaumont is linked to the cruises, huh? I have a feeling we may be approaching the climax of this story. I guess I should go have a look at 507. Climax? But it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. How about I call up there? You know, to make sure no one's home. Good oh, idea. yeah, see, I knew, Just... man. Andrew was a good call. I'll stick by him. He is a snooper. Vicariously. Well, it looks like the room is ready for your snooping, my lady. Thank you, wow. good sir. <laughs> Glitching out. I'll call you back. Wow, 
Well, I should probably throw these away. Right? I don't want anyone to notice this shit. There we go. Fucking in his name is Ray even. I didn't even realize that. I said he looks like a brunette guy from... What's that guy from Archer? His fucking name is Ray too. <laughs> Fuck me. I didn't even put that together. Uh, and Beaumont. 507 divorcee. Michael is Anne's son. But his name was Mitchell. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm headed to room 507. Okay. Was Michael Caine around in the 50s? I know he's older, but like, I wonder when he was born. Oh, he's 90. Okay. He didn't have a big film role until the 60s, really. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who was a big name that everybody, like, well, most people knew in the 50s named Michael? Had to be some. A few, at least. Let the snooping commence. Let's get to the bottom of this and find out what links these rooms together. All right. We'll start here. Closet. Okay. Michelangelo, yeah, there you go. He's been famous for a while. Hmm, a lovely shade of lipstick. Oh, if I only hadn't thrown that one away. Oops. Only another 79 months until I can watch you play alone in the dark off, again. But... They're kind of charming. Only another 79 months until I watch you play alone in the dark again, Scratchy Giant? Well, I'll tell you what. In 79 months, I might be ready for another fucking painful torture. Mr. Cruz, huh? Numbers, dates, times. What does it all mean? 1824. All right. Oh, okay, we're collecting blues, so there's gonna be a lot of them. Michael Holiday was a singer. Okay, there you go. I never heard of him. Oh, I can't open it because the chair's in the way, right. That makes sense. Okay, and I'm not cleaning anything because I'm not supposed to be in here. look like Marcella who the fuck is Marcella oh Marcella Cruz oh okay, okay. Marcella Walla Sugar Frosted Pops. Hear them pop. Oh, the yo-yo. Ah. Pity Pot's Drawing Contest. Okay, so the yo-yo belongs to Michael. Who loves this? Free yo-yo inside. Yep. Oh, he has his own little, little place where he hides away. So you were eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. 
I hope you are well in spite of the circumstances. Uh, circumstances. We've been on the train for two days now. It's a long ride, uh, made even longer by the fact that I cannot wait to see you again. We are scheduled to arrive in Montreal on the eve of Valentine's Day. I booked room 509. It's a marital suite. When we arrive, please refrain from talking to me until we can figure out a safe way to see each other. Say hello to Michael for me, M. M. Did Marcella send this? Anything else to look at here? No? Okay. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. Oh, shit. I promise it's not you. This is all in French! Oh, good. They translated it. Dad, I'm sorry, but Mom asked me not to tell you the name of our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We have two little beds, a radio, and even a television. Mom let me build a fort, and the maid brought us extra blankets. She's really nice. The hotel is nice, too, but I miss home. I wish Mom and you could be happy, and I wish everything could go back to the way it was before, but Mom says it's impossible. She says she no longer loves you. Do you think she'll ever stop loving me, too, Michael? Keep battery out. Battery chamber when not in use. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's Michael's something book. Grammar for everyone. Okay. To Ann Bercy, subject Michael's withdrawal from school. Dear Mrs. Bercy, we have successfully processed your request to withdraw your son Michael Bercy from his school schedule and system under the agreement that you will continue his education at home. Following this letter, you will receive a list of books and school materials needed to purchase in order to follow the curriculum at home. A social worker will be in touch to keep, help you understand our milestones so that your son can benefit from our programs from the comfort of his home. Thank you for thinking of your son's education, Donald Byron. Or Biron. Donald Biron. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. 1945. Dear Anne, you were right. I missed the snow already. It's so hot right now in Texas. It's quite a shock after the cool weather of Montreal. My family has never seen snow before, and I could not find the w words to tell them how beautiful it is. They don't understand what they are missing. I wish I could build my brother a snowman uh, like the one we built together a few weeks ago. I know it's childish, but I had, to, had not had that much fun in years. Christmas was exhausting. Nine days of eating, singing, dancing. It's great fun, but I'm glad it's a, it's over so I can rest a little. Of course, celebrations will resume for New Year's, or New Year, but it gives me a few days to relax. How are things going with your family? I know you don't get along well, but I hope you are still able to have a good time. I will leave for Montreal on the 8th. I cannot wait to be back. I miss f finding black cat hairs all over my clothes. I miss our late night studying sessions at Harry's. I even miss Sister M Miller's cl classes, if you can believe it. I will see you soon. Warm wishes. <laughs> Warm wishes, Smudge. Maybe her name is Smudge. Funny how some games really stand the test of time. Oh, Snakes I used smudge. to play this with mom all the time. So a husband can abuse his wife and just get away with it? And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong? Ugh. Dear Anne, I have met with Louis, or Louis, and he has asked me to give you the enclosed letter. I think I should reiterate that some of your accusations such as wife abuse are not grounds for divorce in Quebec. I understand you are hurt, but I do not think antagonizing your husband is very wise at the moment. Do not forget to be in court at 11 a.m. on the 20th. And, uh, be on time. Also, a further reminder that my fees for January need to be paid before the end of this month. I'm happy to help you out, but I cannot work pro bono on this. Sincerely, Howard. Adam and Eve, can she resist the ultimate temptation? Bridget Boswell, a confession of a shocking and forbidden love. A heartbreaking decision. Should Rose stay in a marriage that no longer makes her happy or seek refuge in the arms of the woman who truly understands her? She has tasted the forbidden fruit years ago, and now she is all she can think of. But what will her family and society as a whole think of her if she turns to a life of sin. Should she be condemned for even entertaining the thought of leaving her husband or pitied for having to make such a heartbreaking decision? 
Bridget Boswell is the profile prolific author behind novels such as And They Were Roommates and The Lonely Girls. Adam or Eve is her seventh novel. Yeah. The meme. The meme poster. Or, or the meme uh, picture. It's good. Greta. Locked. The key has to be around here somewhere. Has to be. Funny how some games really stand the test of time. Oh. I used to play this with mom all the time. Aha. Oh. Keys are Snoop's best friend. Okay. Uh, oh, I need, I need a key to unlock this. Both of them. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? Have I? Fuck, I don't know. Those few coins in my oh. tip jar were getting pretty lonely. Shit! They'll I appreciate the company. I did not mean to pick that up. Damn it! They're gonna oh, know I was here now. So sweet. I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. Dear Sophie, thank you so much for taking care of our room uh, every day and bringing us extra sheets. Michael and I wanted to give uh, you a little something before we left. Sincerely, A. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. So they wanted me to have it. That look in your eyes. What does it mean? And you, who is this from? You don't need to know my name, but you've seen me. I've recognized that look in your eyes when you checked in. Yes, and I don't need to make a fuss out of this. You keep your wits about you and I'll do the same. Either a guest got a hold of our stationery, or this came from someone on the staff. Okay. Oh, why am I cleaning stuff? I shouldn't be cleaning. It was do not disturb. Uh, this letter has been sent to you and uh, been all around the world three times. The one who breaks a chain will have bad luck. Oh my god, chain letters, dude! Mr. Smith received a letter in 1953, made 33 copies, sent them three days later, he won the lottery. Mr. Jones received 1956, blah, 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 blah. In no case should the chain be broken. You will experience joy, great joy in three days. Okay, I'm gonna need this one. The winds and leaves uh, that day made a sound like, a sound like, a sound that sounded like, a sound that sounded like really, Anne. Uh, the winds and leaves that day made the trees, the tree whistle a soft melody that came to my ear. I remember every part of this day for the, uh, Jesus, this is bad. I was looking for my cat when I heard the sound of leaves blowing in the wind like a melody to my ear on this summer day when I met, met you. Looks like someone grew tired of looking at your face, Mr. Beaumont. Oh, your face sucks. There's her wedding ring. Not throw it away. He's all but outright threatening you. Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. I just met with your damn lawyer. You got some balls to accuse me of that, of all that. As if you were so irreproachable yourself. Do you think I don't know where you spend your nights? But worst of all is that you won't let me see my son. You won't even tell me where he is. If you think you have a chance to get custody, you really don't know me well. I won't let you take Michael away from me. Oh, it's Steamboat Willie. Oh. But wait, no, 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 no. The White Cat Bar and Restaurant. Oh. Dude, fucking close it. There you go. What did you see first, lady or a cat? Oh, is it one of those? Oh, 
I did not see the lady at all. I saw the cat. Yep, I did not see the lady. But now I see it with the hat, now that you said that. Because I read the text before I looked at the picture. Hold on a goddamn second. She said I saw the key before? Did I? I don't remember seeing it at all. Not a fucking pixel hunt, man. Come on, man. Maybe I have to throw something away. Like, cause when I pick it up to inspect it, I put it down without looking at what's underneath it. <laughs> Cherry brandy, oh God. Gross. Hold on. Do they want their room cleaned? Probably not. 507, no. Yeah, see, no, nothing. I, I shouldn't have thrown away their garbage. Zeke, what was your favorite form of segregation from the 50s? <laughs> so did you have a favorite form of segregation from the 50s? Um, Anne's husband, okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so there's two orange and violet lipsticks. So yeah, she's meeting her lover here. Her forbidden love. Oh, it's a cat color. Okay. Okay. That key looks so familiar. Oh! Why do I associate it with room... 505. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, uh, they got rooms next to each other. Nope, they didn't. Yes, they did. That's 507. 505 is right next door. Yeah. No, 505 is the detective's room. Or the, the, the fucking photographer's room. I don't remember seeing it. He does seem like a PI though, right? That's, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Nope. 
I don't think I'll need this again. Okay. wasn't in the pictures, was it? Nope. I'm glad the character remembers uh, seeing it, because I fucking surely don't. The classy caters. <laughs> classy Katie Rady. Hey, babe. Hope you had a good stream. I'm playing a, a, a detective game where I I'm a maid. Just like I always dreamed. We fuck sluts. Sluts, we fuck. I wish I remembered that whole tongue twister. That's just a ticket. I can't I can't do anything with it. Like I can't like I can't move and grab it. Said 505. <laughs> what? I am not seeing this at all. Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? Oh, was it? In a safe? Ah, uh, doy. A uh, doy. No, I didn't see one in a safe. There you are. With oh, it was the necklace! God knows where she is. Oh my god, okay, fuck. It wasn't the actual key, it was the picture. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. Sophie, crazy timing. I've got something for you. Oh, what is it? I heard a certain Mr. Cruz and a Mr. Morgan had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who told you that? Shock did. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get involved. And it sounds like I was on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Can you guess what it is? Blackmail. Cowabunga! Uh, Mr. Scott, have you tried Nato? Yes, we have tried Nato. Was that, was Nato the oh no? <laughs> oh no! I think that was it, right? Oh no! <coughs> Um. Affair? Exactly. Ah. Hmm. How bad was it? <coughs> what year is this set? 1958. The of it before it got too intense, but he said Mr. Cruz looked like he was about to kill Mr. Morgan. So Mrs. Cruz must be having an affair with him, right? And her husband found out. Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. I think Nanto is like fermented well, bean paste or something. I remember seeing a similar key yes, in one of Mr. Soybean paste. stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. 
It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys Hi, that open a chest Good vibes with two to you locks. and your family, sir. Okay. Hi, There's chat. definitely something Zeke, going Ms. on Zeke, between Zeke, them. Love. Thank you, Base Demon Live. Appreciate that. Um. Yeah, but the answers probably lie in that chest, and I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, probably. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, well, it doesn't. If you get me a candle and some plaster, I may be able to do something about that chest. How? Really? I'll tell you later, okay? Just find those things. We're going to make a key? As as I can. All right. Thank you for not giving up. Interesting. I would never give up on you. Oh, the oh no link is borked? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, the clip must have gone away. The The link isn't borked, the clip is. Uh, the link probably went the way of the uh, DMC apocalypse. DMC apocalypse. But it's still like, it's on our YouTube still, so, or my YouTube. You just gotta find the gross food cast. All right.